Hello, my name is Sonia Akbarzadeh and I would like to welcome you to this course on GMPs. What are GMPs? GMPs are good manufacturing practices which ensure products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. GMPs are considered the foundation of any food safety program as they provide the necessary environmental and operating conditions for the production of high quality and safe foods. They are designed in a form of detailed programs and procedures that include guidelines to instruct employees on proper practices to prevent, eliminate, or reduce food safety hazards. By implementing GMP programs, employees will be prepared to handle cases like equipment breakdowns, damages, or product contaminations. Federal and local regulations are specified by regulatory agencies such as the CFIA, FDA, USDA, and the European Union. Regulations vary for different food categories such as dairy, poultry, meat, seafood, and several others. Therefore, each company should adapt regulations, policies, and procedures which are specific to their operations and to their country's guidelines where products are sold in. For example, since allergen declaration may vary from country to country, it is essential to declare allergens based on the country's specific legislation. For successful GMP implementation and maintenance, four stages need to be followed. The first stage is development. In developing GMP programs, write down what you do. Make sure to include various elements and tools such as policies, standard operating procedures, schedules, records, and registers. Second is implementation. When implementing your GMP program, employees should be informed on policies and must be trained on procedures, corrective actions, and record keeping. Third is validation. It is important to validate programs and procedures to ensure they meet necessary guidelines and applicable standards. Validating will ensure that written programs are serving the intended purpose. Lastly, verification. When verifying your GMP, you must consistently verify your procedure to make sure it is an effective program. GMPs are daily activities set in place to control food safety hazards introduced by personnel and the environment. Employees can introduce hazards in many ways through sneezing, illnesses, jewelry, loose objects, and dirty hands and uniforms. Correctly following procedures will prevent and control these hazards. For example, Follow the hand washing and changing uniform procedure prior to returning to production area. Some of the environmental hazards include a leaking roof, dirty or corroded equipment, non-potable water, pests, poor ventilation, damaged packaging, and ingredients received in poor conditions. Now, let's briefly, briefly look at some of the common prerequisite programs that are needed to control these hazards. Documentation. GMPs require that all practices are documented and the activities are recorded. Personal practices. Employees and any other persons entering the manufacturing plant should follow the requirements for personal hygiene. Cleaning and sanitation. A detailed sanitation program should be designed and followed to ensure that equipment, utensils, and all areas of the facility are properly cleaned consistently to prevent contamination. Water. Adequate supplies of potable water drawn from a known clean source should be provided for use during processing operations, cleaning, or as ingredients. Pest control. An effective pest control program should be set in place to minimize the risk of pest infestation. Facility and building design. The facility should be located, constructed, and maintained according to sanitary design principles. Equipment, 
and preventive maintenance. All equipment should be constructed and installed according to sanitary design principles, coupled with preventive maintenance and calibration schedules. Receiving, shipping, and storage. All raw materials and products should be stored under both sanitary and proper environmental conditions. Factors like the temperature and humidity levels should be set to assure food safety and quality. Allergen control. Allergen can be present as ingredients, processing aids, or as material used in the R&D kitchen. They can also be present in launch rooms, within products, or production lines. A well-documented allergen program is necessary to ensure all allergens present in products are claimed on the label and that products are not contaminated. Recall. All raw materials and products should be load coded with the recall system set in place so that traces and recalls can be completed rapidly when product retrieval is necessary. Training. Employees should receive documented training on GMPs and more specific training based on their roles and responsibilities. We will discuss all the programs and stages in detail in the respective videos.